All right, Darlington. So this race, so the race weekend was pretty much meh. Well, Xfinity the race was meh. However, and it will heat one, so it automatically sucks. It was Kozlowski. Cup race pretty meh. Also, really not much happened. Like Kyle Larson dominated with like two hundred, like what, close to two hundred seventy laps. Won the first two stages. By then, Larson. <laughs> Predictably choked again. Because late race, spin for Jeffrey Earnhardt. He missed the wall. He has actually good driving by him to miss the wall. Kislowski would beat Larson off pit road. Kislowski takes the lead late. Kislowski wins. And honestly, at the end, near the end of the race, I was wondering, is anybody going to try two tires or doing the opposite of Kyle Larson? Because I was thinking, okay... No one's going to be able to beat Larson straight up. It's going to take strategy or some be or some form of magic to steal the win from Larson. But Kislowski was able to beat him on pit road and then pass him on the track. But yeah. But yeah, like every time Larson was in the lead, he pulled away. At one point, he almost went like, what, 10 seconds ahead at one point? And he even had like, three cars on the lead lab at one point before a caution came out. Like, I think it was like 15, 16 cars finished on the lead lab because because a lot of them were trapped the lab down when a caution came out late during the round of green flag pit stops. But yeah, Kozlowski wins. Logano goes second and Larson third. Like, if anyone wants my thoughts, the new man on Boyer incident... You want to know who I find at fault of this? Boyer Spotter. Boyer Spotter is the most at fault in this situation. Because Ryan Newman pointed that he was coming to pit road. BJ McLeod in the 51 shit, 20, whoever's in the 51 shit mobile. He also pointed that Newman was going to pit road. But Boyer thought it was BJ going to pit road when he pointed. Didn't even see Newman. So really the spotter's at fault for this. Because the spotter has to be aware of everything going on at the track at all times. And in this instance, he was not aware that Newman was pitting, and that's why that crash happened. And Boyer took two hard hits into the wall. Damn. Damn, that was scary. But yeah. Kislowski wins. Pretty man race. Mediocre at best. But yeah, that's the weekend for you. Also this weekend, Hamlin and Almirola have officially locked up Chase Burtz. So now that's 14 drivers locked into the chase. So yes, Eric Almirola has done the one thing Danica Patrick could never do in the 10. Make the chase. That could have been you, Danica, if you actually knew how to drive a car. But yeah. So yeah, next week, the regular season finale. The last race to make the chase. So we have Johnson in by 87 points. Jimmy Johnson had a bad night. Broken oil pump in his engine. But his bad night already started when he had when he was on pit road and then had that commitment line violation. Penalty. So yeah, it just went from bad to worse. Alex Bowman was just trash tonight. Bowman's in right now, but I think it's like what 67 points. So mathematically, Jimmy and Bowman are locked in. But of course, they're not yet because of that stupid winning your in bullshit. So like Stenhouse, he needs to win. So yeah, the four drivers in 17th to 20th. Stenhouse like, what, 67 points out? Uh, I think it's Newman. Newman or Suarez are like 83 out. And then Menard's like, I think it's Newman 83 out. Menard's like 93 out, and then Suarez is like, what, 99 or some shit? But yeah, everybody else on the outside, they're only hoping making the chases win. So yeah, the two drivers we have... Crap, my light went out. There we go. But yeah, the two drivers we have locked in. So yeah, Johnson and Bowman. I, the chase we have going in the Indy is what I think the chase is going to come out as. I don't see anybody racing their way in because we haven't had a driver race their way into the chase since 2012 when Jeff Gordon was able to overcome a 15-point deficit over Kyle Busch to make the chase. 
But yeah. Yeah, because next week is Indianapolis. We know that race is going to suck ass. Because Indy's not really a track meant for stock cars. More for Indy cars. So yeah, what can you do? So yeah, Indy's going to suck ass. Like seriously, out of all the tracks they could have chose to beat a regular season finale, Indianapolis was the worst choice they could have made. Like folks... If I had my way with booking the schedule, if I was booking the NASCAR schedule, you want to hear what my thoughts of the regular season finale for, would be? I know some people are saying Talladega. I mean, not Talladega. I know some people are saying Darlington or Atlanta. My finale would be Talladega for the regular season. Now, before you go and criticize me, hear me out. You put Ta you make Talladega a chase cutoff race. You remove that unpredictability from the chase. So the chase will consist of the tracks the drivers normally compete on on a regular basis. Like the mile and a half and what and short tracks, etc., etc., and whatnot. Plus also at Talladega, a lot of drivers will like it as a cutoff race because a lot of them well, at that point will be locked into the chase so they don't have to worry about Talladega ending their destiny. Because their destiny will still be intact. Their shot at the chase to, will still be there. And plus also if you want to fucking back your words that any fucking driver. Like your fucking average Joe that's at 25th in points can race their way in in the last race by winning. Talladega's the best shot for that. Not fucking Indy or even Richmond. For crying out loud. Like Talladega... You can also have a legit way of someone racing their way in on points or even winning the goddamn race. But yeah, I like I did my um what was it? Dream schedule video back last December. In that video I said my regular season cutoff race was Talladega. Yeah, but I'm still by that. If there's any schedule change, I say make Talladega the chase cutoff race. Make that the last race before the regular season. I think a lot of fans will like it, and a lot of drivers will like it. But yeah, now, I don't know. Let me think. What do you think should be the regular season finale? It definitely shouldn't be fucking Indianapolis. Well, we know what's going to happen this year. Kyle Busch is going to probably lead every lab and win. Like, he was on pace to do that last year until he got wrecked by Truex. But yeah. But yeah, what can you do? Anyway, that's all I got to say. You know, thank God NFL is back this weekend. Thank God we got football back. We can now devote our Sundays to that over this crap. But yeah, I think I'm done here. Hope everyone has a great day and yeah, peace out.